Well, we conducted this, this is a cohort study. It's a nationwide longitudinal cohort study. We conducted it with the aim to assess um, the associations between infections and both short and long-term mortality in people with and without dementia. Um, so we used Danish health registry data that contain valid and complete information on an entire Danish population. In this study, we uh, followed up around 1.4 million Danish citizens who uh, were 65 years or older over around a period of 15 years. Um, here we defined, when we talk about infections in this study, we defined it as a any hospital contact where an infection has been diagnosed upon discharge. So these were more the more severe infections that required a hospital contact. What we observe from our findings is that mortality is um, substantially increased um, following an infection in people with dementia that goes beyond the mortality rates that we observe in people with dementia alone or infections alone. We also see that um, uh, mortality rates are increased across all types of infections. We see them highest for sepsis, which corresponds to previous literature, and lowest for ear infections. But they remained increased in people with dementia than without dementia for all types of infections. We uh, also in the study looked at time since infection, so to look at mortality uh, by time since the first infection, and we can see that the highest rates we observe are within the first 30 days after discharge of a, a hospital contact with an infection, and in people, actually in people both with and without dementia, but much higher in people with dementia. And then we see the same trends over time, and even after 10 years, which is our surprising finding, we can still see that mortality rates are elevated in people with dementia than without dementia. Well, what does this mean? You also ask. Um, after a hospital contact uh, with a severe infection, people with dementia might become more reliant on external care. They uh, might lack a proper post-hospital care. Um, they might become more frail and thus leads to decline in functional levels and therefore can explain the elevated rates of mortality in our study. Um, it's, this also means that anyone who is in contact with people with dementia, so clinicians, uh, healthcare personnel, even family members and caregivers should perhaps pay a closer attention to people with dementia who get infections and infections of all types. Um, because that would then help us um, get an understanding of which steps can research or research into which steps can improve the clinical management of uh, infections in people with dementia, provide them with possibly a more appropriate and uh, more supportive uh, post-hospital care that could then increase the quality of life of people living with dementia. And of course, given the observational design of our study, we cannot directly link infections to uh, mortality, especially the after 10 years, a long-term mortality. But this finding we believe is very important because it uh, sheds light on the need for research to look into so which events or more uh, specifically which cascade of events that occur between um, the infection and mortality that could act as independent risk factors that would explain then this mortality or lead to uh, an increased mortality in people with dementia. This would of course help us to um, come up with some targeted interventions and possibly some preventive measures that could help uh, to increase the quality of life of people living with dementia. Based on these findings, one could also speculate that infections could play a role in the neurodegenerative process and thus worsen dementia and maybe lead uh, or might, might explain mortality or increased mortality that we observe. And that also encourages future research to look into any mechanistic pathways that could link infections to dementia. This study is actually one, or it's part of my PhD project here at the Danish Dementia Research Center, where I'm taking on many observational, uh, several observational studies that will explore the links between infections and dementia from different aspects. We also plan on um, looking into, because <clears throat> we use health registry 
data. We plan on looking at which other data could probably help us um, explain more of these observed associations with mortality that we see here.